Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Kabula's booth and I'm here at Big Data London with Voita. Voita, welcome to the Robert Show. You're the field CTO at Kabula, so excited to chat with you. Thank you very much. As you said, I'm field CTO at Kabula. Okay, uh, just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about what Kabula does and uh, what do you do at Kabula? Sure, sure. So, my name is Voita Tuma. I work in data for last eight years. My role is field CTO, which means having the hardest challenges with data yep. we have in our company. And it has been fun so far. And what Kebula does, basically we are data operation platform where you can do everything with the data, starting with data ingestion, going through transformation, and AI stuff. AI stuff for sure. Uh, what I know you just finished your talk and here I am interviewing you and learning more about you know the different things that you all have been doing. But just to go back a little bit uh, to your talk, uh, what was that about? What have you been hearing from the audience? Uh, can you share a little bit about that too? Sure, I can. I was sharing tips and tricks how to work with LLM and MCP. MCP is a new thing and nobody knows, like people knows how to use it, but I already learned the hard way, few tips which I wanted to share, so I shared it with audience. Seems it resonates. Nice. And uh, Voita, since we are on this topic of MCPs, I know the world is talking about AI assistance, everyone is excited about that, uh, but you've been kind of focusing more on MCP specifically. How do you see that impacting not only just the data engineers, but the larger data community as well, and the AI space? Can you share a little bit about that? I will try to do my best. It's a large topic, to be honest, but if I will have to summarize it, it's all about how fast you can deliver things. Yep. Without MCP, we had the AI, then there was an age without AI, dark times. Uh, but with AI, you know, we need to have to copy everything inside, and AI was not able to connect to your data platform, to your data, but with MCP, it changed. Now you can connect directly to your data platform, you can ask about your data, directly in the AI, and in my opinion, and I think this opinion is pretty common in data data community, the MCP is the future how to work with data. I love it, uh, those are fantastic insights. Uh, I'm kind of also curious because you talk to a lot of customers, you, you talk to a lot of leaders, enterprise leaders in the space. So, what kind of workflows does MCP enable that weren't really possible before uh, and that you've been hearing not only just from the community but also the customers? Can you share a little bit about that? I will start with basic use case like talk to your data when you just simply want to provide business users with some way how to ask about how many customers, what is forecast for X, Y, Z, this was possible, it was quite hard, everything was implemented for particular model, but with MCP, the standard, yes, MCP is basically the standard, how to talk between AI and outer world, this start to make being a lot of faster, and what are we building at the moment, it's not just about talk to your data, Yep. Uh, it's about building the pipelines, and this is something what is much harder to build. We are trying to do our best, and now I can say you can easily connect your weather data, how it reflects your orders, your customers. That's actually very helpful for our audience, That you, what you've shared. Uh, I'm kind of also curious uh, to learn from you, since I also talk to a lot of enterprise leaders, the AI engineers, and one thing that they feel uh, challenged about at times is about from pilot to production, becomes a challenge. But uh, when the AI is in production, they don't want to touch. Uh, how does MCP kind of connect the dots and make sure that it is safe when the production is happening? Kind of curious to know anything that you can share around that. Sure. I need to go a little bit through history because do. as every technology when it rise, it's like total, I will call it punk, like nobody is controlling anything, you just want to have the results. But when you want to bring it to production, there are privileges. 
they are sensitive data, right? And you need to work with this as well. So I would say first three months, nobody cares about any security, but now it's a big topic. It's not just a technology, but it's technology which meant to be used in production because so community found out it's really good. Yep. To speed up the work. So now, what is the what is big challenge and companies are trying to solve is how to secure everything. Because we already have some security incidents, you can search from them. I mean, not us as a Kabula, but the data community. Yep. So we need to try to learn from them and try to avoid any mistakes. We have something, we would like to share it with you, so you can try it. That's awesome, and uh, this is very helpful. Uh, one more quick question for you, a little bit about the future. Uh, how do you see the future in the next three to six months uh, for the enterprise leaders, for the AI space in general, when it comes to MCP, uh, and how will this progress? Because it looks like it's almost been close to one year, so it's like an MCP anniversary now. So, and things have moved so quickly in the last 12 months, right? Uh, but what do you see in the next three to six months? Oh, and maybe it's a short time. Uh, now at my talk, I ask how many people is, how many people they are familiar with MCP? I would say one third, oh, something like that. So it's not, the market, it's not so penetrated yet. But when I will look to not three months or six months, looking back maybe one year ahead, I will say AI will become the main way how to interact with your pipeline because it's saving a lot of time. Like it saves me like 80% of my time. So personally, I am using MCP approach every day because it's just natural language to action. Yeah. And I don't have to copy paste anything. So looking in the long term, do we need UIs? That's the question. <laughs> That's a good question to ask. And I feel one more, one more thing that kind of comes up when you kind of tell us about things will be automated and things, you know, the mundane tasks that you all were doing earlier can be eradicated altogether with having MCP in place. What people overthink is basically, oh, my job will be replaced. I think. That is something not true. What do you think? I think we are dealing with this question for last eight years. <laughs> and this is, it doesn't matter if AI will replace your job. And I don't want to repeat like everything what has been said already, but if you are just executor of some script, yes, your work will be replaced much easier. But what I see on the market, like from other customers who are using Kabula Assistant or MCP directly, they are saying we can do much more, like like multiplied, I multiplied myself three times and I can deliver much more than I was used to before. So everybody want to earn more money. People, companies don't want to fire all the people. They want yep. to earn more money. Earn more money. That's so true and uh, very well put. Uh, uh, one last question for you is, if people want to connect with you and learn more about the different things that y'all are doing in this space, which is the best place to connect with you? Maybe LinkedIn, maybe X, what's the best place? Uh, best place is uh, LinkedIn. Okay. You can also go to kebula.com and write us directly and maybe I will talk to you. <laughs> Vojta, such a pleasure chatting with you on the Ravit Show. Keep up the great work that you're doing. We'll obviously follow all the journey, uh, you know, your MCP journey and Kabula's journey together. And uh, until next time, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ravit. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.